Now your CBS4 Storm Tracker forecast. Supported by the Javier Villarreal Law Firm. Yeah, the two things we're going to talk about here and now, dust and rain. We have two separate forecasts going on here. As we go through the next several hours, let's go down into the low 80s, partly cloudy skies to mostly clear. It's pretty nice out there, albeit a little humid, and 78 for a bottom-out temperature for the morning. So that's your crack of dawn forecast, 78 degrees, partly cloudy skies, with the breeze starting to increase. At the crack of dawn, about 10 to 15 miles an hour, but it will be building. You can see temperatures building on up into the low 90s, and we're going to be talking about temperatures, yes, but more so the uh, beautiful day that we're going to have on ahead with just a 20% chance for showers and thunder showers. Yes, the breeze. Southeast wind 20 to 25, gusting to 35. Humid, yes, and still a little bit gusty. So your choppy conditions on the bay need to be heated as well. You've got uh, fairly aggressive tides as the breeze continues to move on through. And again, a rip current elevated as well. Now, all the talk about uh, dust from Africa. Yes, indeed, it blows up, gets caught in the upper air uh, flow, and then comes on our way. And it eventually pushes this the next 48 hours, pushes its way on into south and deep south Texas. It limits tropical development, so that's one good thing, but it lowers air quality. That's the bad thing, and it's just going to continue to grow and grow and grow. In fact, air quality is forecast to be diminished to the unhealthy category by Thursday. But between now and then, it'll just get worse and worse. So if you suffer from uh, respiratory issues, make sure you reduce or eliminate your outdoor activity, certainly by Thursday. But Thursday also yields something else, and that is a really good chance for rain. The next weather maker is just sort of a, a blob, a, a, a group of elements that will come together, moisture and some upper-level help, all of that to deliver an improved chance for rain on Wednesday. 50% chance for rain and some thunderstorms, and then take it on into Thursday, a 50 to 70% chance. Now we're cooking. Absolutely. Looks good. Could always use a little rain around here, but the problem is some of these downpours could get heavy at times, so you could have localized flooding as well. That's something we're going to have to address as we get closer to Thursday. But then on Friday, it starts to back off by late in the day. Overall, though, valley-wide, I think we're looking at anywhere from up to half an inch out west, half an inch to an inch throughout much of the valley, and then on to the lower valley, maybe an inch or more, depending on how this all breaks out. But it looks like the coastal area could see a lion's share of the rain. So, again, impacts. Widespread rain, that's not a bad thing. Scattered thunderstorms, not too bad anyway. Downpours, now you got problems, especially when it comes to street flooding. So that's something to uh, just keep in mind as we get closer to the Wednesday through Friday routine. Tropical outlook, well, if that Saharan dust lives up to its uh, potential, there won't be much going on out there at all, save this one little low making its way uh, south of the Canadian Maritimes very slowly as an 80% chance of becoming something more. You want the latest on the tropics? Oh, I've got a way for you here. Our 30-minute live stream, tracking the tropics every Wednesday at 1 p.m. That's posted. The older ones are left up there. And when something threatens the U.S., more come down the pipe. So that's how it's going to work out. Ch check it out, valleycentral.com. You click weather and then just go on down to the stream there and you'll see it. Now, look at this. Again, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, your improved chance for rain. I tell you what, that looks good. Let's just hope we can avoid the street flooding and localized flooding. We don't need that.